type forms in Google search box. The first link is always Google Forms. Click on it. Go to Personal. Click on Go to Google Forms. Now you can click on the plus icon and make a new form. But I would I won't be doing it. I would be using the same form which I made for the basic quiz. I'll click on it. So we have the form which we used for the basic quiz video. Uh, we have a title, a small description, very small, and uh, three questions, multiple choice, and a checkbox and radio buttons. All right. So now let's put some image-based questions into this quiz and make it more interesting. How do you do it? Click on the plus button. Always remember, click on the plus button to add questions. Right? So I've got the question over here and by default it has come on the top. So I can just click on the six dots over here and drag it down. I can drag it above any question, below any question. So in this case, I'll be putting it way down. All right. Okay, so to put an image into this question, I just have to click on the image icon over here click it and I have six options one is upload from my computer so if there's a file on your computer which you want to upload you can do that with this option and if you have a laptop or a tablet or, cam or a mobile phone uh, I can use a camera to click a picture in my case I can't do it because it's a desktop you can also paste the URL of images so that directly it comes on to the question so let's try this option uh, put say rabbit um images okay good okay i'll just take this picture right click and copy image location and come back to the form and paste it so that's your picture insert image all right so now you have an image on your question so you can frame any questions you want uh, name the animal or identify the animal be creative and use whatever you want I'll just put in how many horns does this animal have okay so now time to put options option one two uh, you also get suggestions as to how many uh, what answers you have to put so if I click zero it directly comes over here so sometimes it gives you the suggestions so you can take the suggestions by default if you put a question it sort of checks in its own database uh, it does a google search and tries to find an answer so if you put a question a normal question like who is the president prime minister of uh, india or president of america you'll get the answer over here and you can just click on the suggestion and it will become an option right so we have 210 and i'll write 10 so you have four options now don't forget to click on the answer key and choose the right answer and I'll just put two points for this question and done it's always good to put the answer key right when you form the question or else you tend to forget it and it kind of uh, ruins the whole quiz experience okay so we have put one image based question let's put another one so I'll put add there's a question and that's the sometimes you not sometimes you don't usually see the image icon you have to bring the mouse on onto the question bar or to this area to get the image icon click on it and I'll try uploading one from my okay I'll take corona anytime now so this is one of the thumbnails I made for video and uh, okay let's say how many corona viruses do you okay do you see in this picture let me okay it's a multiple choice based question now so i'll put so okay what do i don't know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 let's say 20 22 a million or none right important one answer key I'll take 20 as an answer maybe it's not right but still and the points I'll put two points for this done 
right? So we have two image based questions and we are also given the answer keys. Now let's try putting a question with check boxes. Same process, plus button, come over here, click on the icon and let's find another okay, road. Right, right click and copy image location. You don't have to copy link location, but image location. Right, copy image location, go to URL. The rest, the photos, Google Drive and Google Image Search is all the options which you have. I mean, photos opens up your Google Photos, which I won't do now. And Google Drive opens up your Google Drive, which again, I won't do. Google Image Search is searching, basically typing and it'll, it gives you an image. I'll use this for a moment and insert image. All right, so, oh, this is pretty big. So if you want to resize the button, uh, the image, you just have to click on it and uh, you can drag the corners. Okay, now it's good. You can enlarge a small photo or you can make a big photo into a smaller size by just dragging onto the corners. Any corner is fine, it all does the same thing. And if you don't want this picture, just click on the question and you get three dots on the top left corner. Click on it. Okay, we have six options over here. One is left align and uh, second is center align, third is right align. All these buttons are meant for changing the alignment of the image. I take center alignment. The other is change. If you don't want this image, if you want to change this image with another one, click on change and you get the same six options. You can choose any method and change the picture or else you can also remove the picture. Add a caption, what it does is it kind of gives you a line to write about the picture. I would say a fantastic, uh, fantastic landscape. Wow. Usually most of the pictures are copyright protected. So probably you will want to give the copyright or mention the copyright over here get taken from this source. I mean, specifying the source is always a good idea and it's playing safe. All right. So the question can be, what all do you see in this picture? Right. Take, select the check boxes option. And now you can put on your options. I'll say road, grass, green grass, clouds with a small L, not a double L. And uh, let's say UFO. All right. Answer key, the most important thing always road, grass, clouds, UFO, it's not there. And the point system, I'll give one point done so our whole quiz has become of 10 points so these are three image based questions which you put the another thing which i have to show you is that you can also have images in the options okay so let's try that click on the add button always click on the add button to add questions choose uh, images with cars let's say that Okay, so the to the right of the option one, you can see the image icon, click on it. The same process again, I'll just put a uh, car and take some generic images. Okay, this has an image. Uh, again, copy image location, come back, not browse, buy URL, paste the URL. It's not valid, it says copy image location sometimes it does happen it, uh, it gives you the error that it's not valid all right so we have image one uh, okay it's a very weird car or highly creative uh, copy image location option two image URL paste insert image another car same thing it's very high res so let's take something smaller oh that's good copy image location google form 
option you have to click on the add option and it the option automatically comes up click on the image sign buy url paste the url insert image and one op option will probably give a truck okay copy image location come back forms option 4 I'm just clicking on the add option image by URL paste it there's your image insert image all right so now we have a question which says choose images with cars and we have four options which is image based so this is also another format which you can try uh, the next one or the other one which I'm not trying but you can try is you can put an image and you can give options so probably you can put half an image and you want to complete it or you can complete a sequence of some sort you can use the creativity to form questions on that basis as well all right so that's all about uh, image based quiz making image based quiz on using the Google Forms and let me just preview it oh the important thing answer key always answer key so since you have chosen a radio button you still ha you st I mean you still get the option to select multiple it's okay uh, but what happens in radio button is that even if the person selects one he gets the full marks so if it's let's say it's a five mark question he'll get the entire five five marks even though the other pictures have cars but since you use a radio button he just have to choose one and he'll be right but if it's a checkbox like this he'll have to select all the pictures and only then he gets the full mark right so I'll just it was done and let's preview it all right quiz 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 which came first egg kokil bagoli alien da, da, 3 plus 3 4 plus 2 how many answers I love definitely 10 uh, viruses I see million virus what all do you see in a picture I see road grass clouds choose images with cars I'll just choose one submit my response has been recorded let's view the score 6 of 15 See, I just I have just chosen one image with the car and I still got the entire mark. So that's the difference between the radio button and the checkbox. In the radio button you just have you can just select one. While you're answering it, you can't select multiple. So even if you have multiple answers, one answer selecting one answer gives you the entire mark. So be careful when using these options, the checkbox and the radio button. Alright, so that's my score and that's all about using images in the Google Forms to make image-based quiz.